In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add custom fonts to your WordPress websites and make them stand out. Now, if you take a look at this heading, if I right click and inspect element, it's basically a custom font that you wouldn't normally find, but you can quite easily do that. And there are a lot of ways to do this. Now I'll divide this tutorial into two sections. The first section being where to find these custom fonts, high quality custom fonts that you can use for your website or your client's website. And the second section, how to install them. And there'll be timestamps in the description. Feel free to navigate to whichever section you want. Let's get started. Now, the first resource to get custom fonts is called Envato Elements. It's a monthly or annual subscription that gives you access to fonts, photos, templates, graphics, icons, stock video, everything you need for your creation, for your web creation. I think it's a must have for any creator. So if you go to fonts, you can find ton of them. You can filter them by the family of the font. You can find serif, sans serif, script, handwritten. You can also filter them by the use case, right? There are ton of fonts. And the best part about Envato Element fonts is that since this is a paid subscription, not everyone uses them. So your website will stand out. And if you're building it for your client, that will be an added value. And the second thing is that you're covered with your license. So you don't have to worry about the licensing thing. You can use it in your personal and commercial projects, right? It's quite easy to do that. So this is my top choice for getting fonts. And the second best resource, probably the best resource is Adobe fonts. This requires creative cloud subscription. Again, this license includes both your personal and commercial projects. So you can use them anywhere for yourself or your clients, right? There are tons of fonts to pick from. And these are top notch fonts. These are designed by big name font companies in the business, right? So you get a ton of them and it's quite easy to integrate. And you can also pick font pairs just by checking out fonts. And this is again, another go to resource for me. All the links will be in the description. You can check them out. Now let's head on to the third and some of the free resources where you can get the fonts. Before moving on to the third free resource, I forgot to mention that WP algorithm logo is actually designed by a font that I got from Envato Elements. The font name is called Dreamscape and this is basically A and this is L and that's how I designed and gave the logo of WP algorithm a unique look. You can do some creative stuff with some crazy fonts. All links will be in the description. This is a good resource and it's called thefont.com. You can see, you can browse through a lot of fonts, click and just download the font. But sometimes the license can vary from font to font. In this case, this is a free font for both personal and commercial use. Some fonts are just for demo purposes. Some fonts you have to buy additional families. So you have to be really careful when downloading and installing fonts from free resources. Again, since this is free, a lot of people will use it. However, these are some really good quality fonts. Another really good quality font resource is called fontsquirrel.com. And it has again, some really interesting fonts, but again, the license on these vary from font to font. You gotta be really careful. And if you look at this, some of the weights in this font are available for sale but these weights are available for free and it's not even hosted on this website. When you click on this, this will actually take you to another website. So these are the things that you have to deal with when you're installing free fonts. I highly recommend getting one of the premium fonts. And there's one more noteworthy mention and that is Google fonts. Now this is mostly built into your theme or your page builder. So when you're building your website, you actually have them at your disposal, but this is a high quality resource, probably the most used fonts on the internet, right? This is where all your themes and all your plugins get fonts from. That's it for the font resources list. Now let's move on and see how we can integrate them or install them on our WordPress website. So how do you add fonts to your WordPress website? Well, there are two main ways to do that. The first one is by using the Gutenberg. Since Gutenberg is highly dependent on your theme, you'll be doing it using your theme. So in this case, I have Astra theme installed and activated on my website, right? Again, this may vary from theme to theme, but usually themes have an add on or a free plugin, which they'll use to add custom fonts. So if you go to plugins and if you click on add new, and that is this custom fonts plugin by brainstorm force, you need to install and activate this plugin. If you want to add fonts, to your Astra theme or the Gutenberg editor when your Astra theme is active. And these fonts will also be available in Elementor and other page builders that Astra is compatible with. So once you install and activate this theme specific font plugin, you can activate it. 
now under appearance for astra this particular plugin click on that and here you can upload your font that you've downloaded let's go ahead and download a font that we want i'm going to download a free font from thefont.com i'll just click on download that will download the font now all we need to do is to locate the font and install it to our website now let's give a name to our font and the name is milky honey let's type that font fallback sans serif you can leave everything at the default and based on the type of files you have just click on upload and pick the right extension of the font that you have downloaded since this is a ttf have to pick the ttf file and click on select and the other extension i have is dot otf click on upload and pick the otf extension and click on select once you're done uploading the font you can also change the weight but if your font has a variable font weight or if it supports variable font weight this really doesn't matter just click on add new font and that will upload the custom font to your wordpress website this is in the context of astra theme again different themes will have different websites now you can go to appearance click on customize go to global go to typography let's pick a heading font that we have uploaded it's milky honey right so i'll just pick that i'll publish this now if i reload this page the font will automatically be applied to all the headings just like that right this font on our website it's as simple as that and that's how you integrate fonts into your themes now depending on the theme that you have you may have to install a separate plugin to make it work with gutenberg right so whenever you're building a new page with gutenberg these fonts will automatically be applied and you can also see the preview in the title right if i type something it actually shows the preview with our custom font so that's how you install fonts using gutenberg now let's move on and see how we can install fonts to our page builders because we build most of our websites using page builders or website builders such as elementor so if you go to elementor click on custom fonts this is where you can upload your custom fonts the same way you did with themes and this is only available with elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can get it using the link in the description so just again click on add new and the font family is milky honey click on add font variation again we just have dot ttf file just select that and i don't think we have any other file that suits this so it doesn't show any matches just publish that font now you can build any page in elementor and use this font i'll just click on edit with elementor instead of gutenberg let's change the font so i'll just drag the heading widget and under style tab i can pick milky honey from here just click on font family just type the custom font and just like that you can use them wherever you build you can also use them in elementor theme styles it's as simple as that and there are other clever ways to integrate fonts onto your website without even uploading them onto your website and that is by using adobe font kit so let's say i just liked this particular font i can simply click this font in adobe fonts i can click on add to web project from here i can pick which kind of variations of this font i want i'll pick all three let's create a new project i'll click this and maybe i'll just pick demo i'll click on save so click on manage fonts click on web projects all you need to do is to get the id of this font or, or this project just copy this id and in elementor you need to go to settings go to integrate and under project id you just need to paste the project id and that font will be available in your website right just paste the project id and click on get project id so font formula is found click on save now you can reload this page plus script right so let's actually pick that font I'll click and it already shows that it might take a while to reload the font maybe around 5 to 10 minutes but once the font is available that will be applied to your text just like that so it's as simple as that integrating fonts and the same applies to Envato elements so if you want to download a font just click on download and add it to a project right you can just type in plain text you can say 
wpalgorithm.com website and you can download the font and use it on your website. It's as simple as that to use Envato fonts. Again, once you have this font, you need to upload it either to your Gutenberg specific plugin or your page builder and use them. But some of the highest quality fonts are on Adobe fonts and Envato elements. So this is how you add kinds of custom fonts to your website in different ways. If this video helped you or added value, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.